Hi guys, it's Kay Comer in here with you again, and this is video number two. Um, I have um, had such a time trying to do these videos. It took nine tries with number one, but let's hope and pray that this works okay with number uh, number two uh, the first time. Uh, this is made, it, it is huge. It's just huge. If you want a book that looks like it was really an old scrapbook just put together, this would sure be the one because... Oh my goodness, I, I started out with one piece of paper, just like an eight and a half, just like this, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, just piece of paper. I was just going to make a small, thin uh, book of some type, um, just with a few pages in it, and I just, I don't know, I got carried away. First, I found this image. Let's just open it up and try to make this one quicker. <laughs> um, I found that image. The girl, I just, I love that. It was on um, Pinterest, and I just had to do something with it. Now, this is the black and white striped paper you've seen at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was one sheet of paper, so I stitched it in the middle to hold a few pieces of paper together. <laughs> and I blew this image up. I did some uh, crazy cloth around here, an old flower, put some uh, uh, burlap under there and kind of ragged it a little bit. Uh, distressed, baked, uh, coffee dyed, and all that, the paper, the black and white paper. So let's just m open this up and get going and see if we can do this kind of fast this time. This take this out here. This is just uh, some dotted, really that was, uh, I bought that at the Dollar Tree, the black and white dots. That was just some um, tissue paper that was in with black and white dots. So I Coffee dyed that and baked it in the oven just like I do everything else. Um, got a little doily here that I cut in half and distressed and put some lace across the top and a, a paper clip with some beads and uh, buttons. And um, here's the, the clip from uh, Tim Holtz, the buttons up there. Okay, let's see if we can lay this down a second and see what these little books were. I'll just stand it like that if it'll stand. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, this is uh, one of the little uh, cloth and paper books. I love making these little books. This is um, homemade paper in the back with uh, uh, a, a quilt heart on the front. It's late at night, so I'm having a hard time to think. It's been a long, long day. So button some flowers, open it up, and like I said, I like to write. I like to write uh, stories, just all kind of things. So there'll be some uh, original writing in each one of these books. And this says, within the pages of this book, a story will unfold of homemaking skills of long ago and recipes of old. And then it goes on and on a little bit. Have a little um, clothespin up here, flowers, buttons. This says, do everything with so much love in your heart that you would never want to do it any other way. Well, is that good advice or what? I don't know about you, but I'm just full of gooshy. <laughs> A <laughs> warm and fuzzy. Have an old key button, some lace. On the back, just have a stamp. And I'm try I told you I'm trying to learn to do the stamp, and I'm not real good at it yet, so it's not coming through clear. And this is uh, Kindness Matters, and boy, yes, it does. It sure matters. So that's a pocket. We're going to tuck that down in there. This is just uh, a piece of paper that I doubled, put a flower and some... Uh, crazy cloth on the back, and it's just an image out of an old kitchen from long, long ago, a uh, heart made out of a quilt, uh, cut out of a quilt. It says, the kitchen's new efficiency center, and uh, it's just a an old-time image from long ago. I'm calling this book, and I forgot to say, um, The Lost Art of Homemaking, and I love Homemaking. When uh, my, we were, I was growing up, and most little girls wanted to be a nurse or a school teacher. All I ever wanted to be was a, a wife, mom, and homemaker. And I would tell everybody that. And I love my job. I mean, it's a job you'll never retire from, but and it's a 24/7 job, even on into the years. Like we've been married 51 years, and uh, I start at like three o'clock in the morning, and and I go till well, it's in the night. Normally, I'm sit down by seven, but uh, it didn't happen today. Okay, this is another little paper book. This is just some of the dotted paper from Hobby Lobby, and I baked it and ironed it, uh, distressed it some more uh, with the Tim Holtz ink, cut a paper heart out of some newspaper, put a little piece of calendar on the front, a button, uh, some 
uh, let's see, this says, in our home, we do grace, we do mistakes, we do real, we do sorry, we do funny, we do loud, we do hugs, we do family, and we do love. That is so gushy. Uh, this is Dust If You Must, and I know many of you have seen that little poem. It's uh, Dust If You Must, But Wouldn't It Be Better to Paint a Picture or Write a Letter, and then it just goes on and on. It's a really nice little old-timey reading. It's been around for years and years, uh, so we'll tuck that back in there. This is fastened on with a pen. This is one of the little insert books. Uh, let's take this off and just get, get right on with it. Good Housekeeping. This is just an image of a Good Housekeeping magazine that I got off of Pinterest. Has some newspaper on the back. This is a baby quilt that I've distressed. Coffee dyed, um, uh, ironed, and just done more things with. Um, the back is the very same. Has some pages in there for you just to write in. I put a little heart, just tore around the heart there. Little heart out of newspaper. Uh, some distressed pages in here for your journaling needs, <laughs> as Jenny says. So that's just a little insert book. Let's check this out. This is a pocket made out of um, uh, chenille bedspread. And I just put a little swag out of some lace on there. Uh, has the black and white check paper in the back, a little bit more of the baby blanket up here. Let's see what this is. This is another one of the little um, cloth and paper books. I, I call them Jenny Miller books, and I'll probably always call them Jenny Miller books because that's where I got the idea, and I just, I just value that woman's uh, video so much. It says, Meet Dr. Homemaker. These are all images from like the 40s and the 50s. Everything through the whole book is like a step back in time, like everything that I like to do. And um, so all the images will be a step back in time. There's a mother and daughter working in the kitchen. There's a, a mother and daughter uh, working, making a cake, it looks like right there. Another good housekeeping magazine image. Uh, there's cloth behind this. I like the raggedy edges. This is the most important work you will ever do will be within the walls of your own home. And boy, nothing is more true than that. Home sweet home. And then there's some crazy cloth here, some buttons, some lace. And let's see what this is before we put any of it back. Just open it up. Do it daily. Make the beds, empty the trash can, sweep and vacuum. Uh, wipe the shower after use. Do the dishes, tidy up before bed. And then there's some more things down here. Um, this is, uh, you know, I know people don't uh, do housekeeping and all like they did back in the olden days. I still do because that is my hobby, that is my life, and uh, I'm, I'm just totally devoted to home, and I can be because I've been a homemaker all through our 51 years, and uh, I just love it. I mean, it is, uh, our home is my hobby. Uh, it's not um, how big the house is, it's how happy the home is, and that's true, too. Let's see, I got another little stamp back there. Okay, now let's see if we can put these back without tearing things up and do it as quick as we can so we can get this video on done. Let's tie this back up. Well, let's just, yeah, we gotta tie it up because we gotta pin it. Oh my goodness. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Get it done. Okay, put this in here. All the little pockets have several things in, and I had that on with a safety pin, so I'll put that back, if I can, without taking too much time. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. Yes, okay. The Homemaker's Creed. Uh, Homemaker's Creed of the Home Legion. I believe homemaking is a noble and challenging career. I believe homemaking is an art requiring many different skills. I believe homemaking requires the best of my efforts, my abilities, and my thinking. And then it just goes on and on. And that's by Betty Crocker, it says. I didn't even notice that when I put it in there. Uh, let's take these things out here so we can see what we've got here. This is a little envelope put on by a rusty... <laughs> Paper clip. Okay, let's open it up. And this is Borden's Ice Cream. Oh my goodness, many of you younger people won't even remember Borden's Ice Cream, but I do, and I remember the uh, cow. <laughs> There's the cow, Borden's cow, half gallon of ice cream. Um, and then I just tuck that in like that, and there's a rose and a, a rabbit and some roses down here. Let's see, let's wait. Let me put this here. 
Okay, let's see what this is. And this is a woman's favorite cookbook, and this is another little paper book. There's quite a few of these little uh, paper and cloth books in this uh, book. Uh, it's Ma's Cooking Mountain Recipes. This is a recipe book, and I actually collect these old hillbilly recipes, and I have about 18 or 20 of them, and I love those books. There's some really neat, neat recipes in there. There's also stuff in there like cooked possum and possum stew and things like that. Okay, when mother lets us cook, that's just the front of an old-timey recipe book, woman's exchange cookbook, and then I've just got some uh, burlap around there and some lace and some buttons. I love the little books. I've said that many times, but I do. I just absolutely love the little books. This is another little book. It has a, a safety pin on the front with some buttons. There's some cloth on the back, a uh, little bit of the baby blanket, a uh, piece of quilt here that I've distressed. Uh, as I said, I collect cutter quilts, and uh, I've, I collect old linens and all that, and I have for 50 years or more. So uh, here's another good housekeeping in, um, image. Here's a heart made out of a, a quilt piece. It has a, just some jute around it and some buttons. Home is where the heart is. And then it's just a flower and some stitching around the edge. I don't know how to sew, but I'm learning to do a little hand stitching. Some buttons and some fabric there. So let's just tuck this in here if we can without tearing things up. Yes, we did that. Okay, this is an image. I hope we're getting this. Hope it's not, uh, I hope it's focusing good. Uh, this is an image of mother and daughter in the kitchen. Uh, I love that image. Uh, it's not very plain. It is an old image and uh, then I distressed it so that made it look even more old. And let's see here. Let's take these things out. Oopsie daisy. Okay, and this is just some images of some old, old aprons here. I put a little uh, a paper doily here, a piece of fabric and a button, and uh, some old aprons, some buttons here, one of the paper flowers, and uh, some more fabric back in here. This is the Mother's Apron poem, and I love this. Uh, it says, Mother wore an apron, an ample apron to cover her clean dress. She'd tell you that it's uh, that's what it was for if you ask her I would guess but that apron had more uses than I could ever count it brought in eggs and vegetables and could hold a large amount and then it goes on and on about what all mom did with the apron and um, uh, it, it's just really a nice uh, takes you back to that era uh, this is some flowers that are just cut out of uh, different kinds of paper and just kind of one on top of the other this says, I will make everything around me beautiful, and that will be my life. And there's just a little piece of lace and some little flowers and the stamp on the back. Let's see, I'm going to, I think that goes over there. Let's see. Okay. Loving atmosphere in your home is the found, a loving atmosphere in the home is the foundation for your life. That is so true. I love that. That is just a... Uh, uh, I put that on a little card, a little card that I found, put a little piece of lace and some buttons on there. I just covered the, the card with that polka dot paper. I love that polka dot paper, especially distressed. Homemaking is surely, in reality, the most important work in the world, and to me it really is. I mean, there is nothing I would have rather done uh, than what I've been doing for the last 51 years. I just... Uh, I've said many times that I grew up in, uh, my mom and dad was, uh, daddy was a Baptist preacher and I grew up in that lifestyle and in church all the time and I grew up uh, as a child with a storybook life and then I married an old geezer that has given me a storybook life and I have had a storybook life. Thank you Lord for that. Okay, how to be a good wife, a handy preference guide. <laughs> It's so late, I can't even read, oh my goodness. But there's just tips on down through here, uh, some old images. This is a 50s, kind of a 50s type image. Big buttons, some lace. Um, that's a, a cloth, a uh, piece of towel back there, an old white towel that I just kind of distressed. Here's some uh, blank paper that you can journal on or just uh, put your own things on or whatever you want to do. A little bit of stamping on there. This, let's see... This is, uh, all of these pages are covered with some kind of fabric. Paper and then fabric, a big button, a big piece of lace. I made a, an envelope here out of an envelope. Put some lace across there and some flowers. And let's see here what these things are. Let's do the big one first so we can tuck it back. Okay. 
This is just an envelope made out of uh, the newspaper, and I love those envelopes made out of newspaper. It says, the kitchen is the heart of the home, and yes, it is. Well, it is at our house. It is. It always was back in the 50s or 40s and 50s when I grew up. It was where everybody hung out and talked around the kitchen. Whoopsie daisy around the kitchen table. And uh, let's see. And this says love grows by giving. And that's true, too. The more you give, the more it's going to come back to you. And uh, I can tell you that for a fact. I love to give. I don't know what it is about me. I just am almost obsessed with giving. And that's kind of crazy, a kind of crazy thing to even say about myself. But it is true. And I really don't know why I'm that way. Uh, I'd rather uh, do something for somebody else than do something for myself. Okay, home sweet home. And that just says home. That's just uh, a little piece of paper cut out, distressed in several ways with the, the coffee and the iron and the uh, then the Tim Holtz ink and then a piece of newspaper just torn around and, and the little red heart. And then that's all distressed over the top. Happiness is homemade. And it shows an old time mixer there. Home sweet home. Happiness is homemade. You have to make your own sunshine. That's what my daughter is always saying. She has a radio talk show, and she says that all the time. It's just it's some days you just have to make your own sunshine. This is just another little pretend envelope. It isn't really a tuck envelope, but um, this folds out. And it says collect moments, not things. Let's tuck that back in there. And then we have another little book here. Let's see what this book is. And I don't even remember myself because these things... Um, I made way back there, uh, and then I had such a time getting the camera going, I couldn't make my videos, so I just kept on making books. Oh, my word, don't tell me that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I love this little book. This is just a long doily, like you would see on the arm of a chair 40, 50 years ago. And I just thought, well, I'm going to put some paper on that and put some images on the other side. So I did. I found some more of these old-timey uh, images like the front cover, and um, it's just uh, images of old timey homemakers, but they're really little girls. I just, I just love those images. So let's roll that back up. And I'm not gonna put that on there right now because uh, we're running a little behind already. And that's just um, an old doily. I cut it in half and stuck it in there. Um, this is uh, this is covered with fabric on the back, but I have paper over the top and it says, Jane is a helper, mother is a helper, we are helpers. It's fun to be helpers. That kind of si sounds and reads like a Dick and Jane book from the 1950s where it says, look, Dick, see Jane, see Spot, see Spot run. <laughs> okay, let's see, I'll put that clip there so I don't forget to. And this is um, paper and fabric, a big doily. I have to press that back down. I've messed that up just doing it over and over. A uh, little pocket there. Take that thread off. I like the raggedy threads though. A big flower. I like the raggedy threads. I don't like things to be just so-so. It's not me. I'm not so-so, heavens. And so I like things kind of uh, unraveled too. <laughs> homemaker and this is just the the letters for the homemaker and then little things out to the side um and a uh, flower button and it's all put on newspaper distressed newspaper coffee dyed ironed baked in the oven this is another little uh, cloth and paper book i love this that's that little image of that barn i used that on the book number one on the front cover and then some plaid paper some burlap some lace some Crazy cloth down here, a button, old button, some old jute. And this says, back home, if I had the power to turn back the clock, go back to that house at the end of the block, the house that was home where I was a kid, I know that I'd love it more now than I did. And boy, and I tell you, I like to look back on the old days. I'm stuck in the old days. I'll say that over and over in these videos. I am so stuck in the 50s. Now, one thing about this book, it is so fat, and it should have been signatures, several signatures, but um, I was just learning, and I didn't do that. I just kept on going, thinking it was everything's going to be all right, and uh, it turned out it's not exactly perfect, but is a junk book supposed to be perfect? Could we call it a junk book if it was perfect? I don't think so. Okay, here's a pocket that we've made out of a piece of quilt, 
uh, it's uh, not an open pocket back there. It makes uh, one of the little belly bands is what they're calling them. I didn't, had never done the belly bands in all the books that I've done before, but that's a little belly band, and we'll tuck it again in a minute. Some buttons on the corner, an old cloth, cloth uh, flower, and this is just a little uh, uh, reading, a little another little paper book uh, laundry. I love that image. I love that little black and white paper on that newspaper print. That's newspaper print in the back, and I'm messing up my stamping again, but I'll get it. And this says, I'm getting hoarse again. I did that the other day trying to do the video, but um, we'll, we're almost done. Okay, when homes are filled with lots of love and homes are filled with laughter, then hearts are filled with memories that will last forever after. And I think that's true. So true. Here's another little newspaper envelope. And has a little flower on the front, a little piece of doily, and another little flower down there. And this says, some days you have to create your own sunshine. I saw that and I thought, I've got to use that because that's the saying that I said Kim uses on her radio program. She, she says that all the time if it's raining or whatever. And she'll say, well, some days we just have to make our own sunshine if we're going to have any. And boy, she's, she's the best there is at that, that's for sure. I hope she got that from me. I don't know if she did or not, but she's got it wherever she got it. And this is just another little paper envelope, newspaper envelope. And in here, I've put one of the little kindness rocks. Now, this started around in uh, southern Illinois last summer in uh, the very tip of southern Illinois. I don't know how long it's been going around, since 2015, I think. And you just find... Uh, get rocks and uh, just start painting on them and put different things and I do everything in black the black uh, the base is black and then I put the little tiny flowers and things on there and I always whoops I always put a little quote on the top uh, on it somewhere so uh, I've tucked one of those little kindness rocks in here for you maybe you'll want to start doing some uh, kindness rock painting okay this is just an old book at, and it's uh this is the the cover of an old recipe book that I just made a copy of and shrunk it down and distressed it. This is all fabric and paper book uh, here. Um, I like the image on the front. I like the really old, old look. So inside will only be really old recipes. Oatmeal molasses cookies, shoe fly pie, um, old funnel cakes, Homemade ice cream. Does anybody make homemade ice cream anymore? We still do all the time. My husband just said a couple days ago we need to make some homemade ice cream. So here's some Apple Brown Betty, and you fold that out, and you see the recipe for that. Drop biscuits. We make a lot of biscuits at our house. My husband likes what he calls magic biscuits, and, and it just takes a few minutes, and we make them in the morning. Uh, bread pudding. And this is Apple Pan Dowdy. And then we just have a stamp, piece of paper here and a stamp, some fabric here that's distressed, um, piece of lace and some buttons here. And on the back it says, Farmer's Market, fresh eggs, specially selected. Cheeses, <laughs> pies, jams, and jellies. Okay. Did we do this? No, we didn't. Okay, this is just a fold out. It's made to look like an envelope, but it isn't really. It's just uh, paper, then with fabric over it. This is a, a quilt piece. This says, determined to make your home a place where anyone can stop by and be welcomed inside. Uh, and that's one thing I tell you. Uh, uh, we, I shouldn't maybe say this. Well, it's too late. Uh, <laughs> I've had so many people tell me how comfortable our home is. Now, our home is not fancy. We have nothing new in our home. Most everything in our home we bought when we got married. <laughs> I just foo-foo it up now with um, doilies and quilts. And it is very warm and cozy. And there's little lights all the time on. And uh, even on our porch, we have little lights on at night uh, around the porch and lots of plants and stuff. This is the Good Wife's Guide from Housekeeping. May 13th, 1955, and this is just a little insert. Uh, this is some good advice for wives. It says, to have dinner ready when your husband comes home. Prepare yourself. Be a little gay and a little more interesting <laughs> for him when he gets there because he's had a tiring day. Well, like you haven't, but anyway, that's what it says. But I do all this stuff. I just pamper my husband like, oh my goodness, you just wouldn't believe did I read this one? One day you will realize that material things mean nothing. All that matters is the well-being of the people in your life. And that is so true. Uh, 
uh, I'm just not a person uh, that likes uh, or cares anything about materialistic things. I just never have been. I'm not a shopper. I mean, I go, I go shopping. It's because I need something, and I go get it and come back home. I do not go shopping just to see if I can find something. I made a little pocket here out of a doily, so I just kind of tucked it under, distressed it. Let's clip this book back so we won't. If we have to do video number two, it will be where it's supposed to be. Hope to goodness we don't have to do that. Okay, now we're getting toward the end of the book and it's getting a little bit hard to open. So don't, um, if you want this to lay flat every page, this book is not for you because this is made like an old timey scrapbook by somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> And it is, as you get farther back, it's a little bit harder to keep it open, but the things in it really are so neat. I just really love the way this turned out. This is, I love this image, these cups and the lace around the top and the little fabric across the bottom and then the, the lace and there's some paper doilies in here. I love the paper doilies, so I just kind of layered them here, but they won't open up unless you just force it. And that's because I got the book too fat using one piece of paper to make this huge big book. I Maybe I'll be in the Guinness Book of World Records for this book. <laughs> okay, carrot cake. This is a recipe for carrot cake, and it's an old, old-timey recipe that was in my um, mother-in-law's box of recipes that we got. And I thought, well, I'm going to make a copy of one of her old, old recipes, and even her paper was brown. And so that's a, a family recipe right there. Okay, and here's some fabric, and here's a doily that's just distressed even more. Some buttons. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, and some more paper doilies. And then this page is just to write on if you decide you want to write on it. I don't write in any of my books. I just use them for looks. And uh, another thing, I'm not much for eye candy. I'll never... Uh, uh, give or sell a book that is uh, just eye candy. I want people to be able to pick my books up and, and read them and uh, I want the book just to do something to you or for you or whatever or just give you a warm and fuzzy feeling and then when you put it down I want you to feel like uh, you're wanting to just pick it back up and start over. That's the way, that's the kind of things I like to have and that's the kind of things I want to, to give and put out there for other people. This is just an image of an old uh, menu. It says menu and that fabric in the back, the distressed fabric. Some more paper doilies. Um, this is Housewives Treasury of Domestic Information. <laughs> A lot of people would think this is crazy, but that is so me because I am so um, old-fashioned. I'm just uh, old school to the bone. Uh, I do everything from scratch, everything from scratch. We grow our own food, <laughs> cut our own firewood, just all that. I heat the house with firewood. Okay, um, this is just a image of an old, old uh, recipe book that I just put on some more of that dotted paper, different dotted paper, but I love that uh, dotted paper. Once you distress it, it just really um, is something. I don't know if this is going to stand up, but let me take this little book off. And this is just, this is a homemaker's little black book of secrets, ideas, and notes. And it really is just for you to write in if that's what you want to do or um, stick some more uh, images in there if you find some older images. Having a place to go is home. Having someone to love is family and having both is a blessing. Yes, it is. I have had the most blessed life, I think, that there ever was. And I, I want that for everybody. I, that's why I like to do things for people. I want to spread my sunshine what little bit I can as much and as far uh, far and wide as I can. Okay, buttons. I love this image. I saw this on somebody else's book and I even messaged her and asked her where she found it and then of course that's before I started doing these and uh, they were all, that image is all over Pinterest. But uh, that's some more of the little checked paper and it was baked and uh, uh, coffee dyed and baked and then ironed and uh, some more paper doilies. And then we come to the last page, which is just some cutter quilt that I've just kind of baked and uh, ironed and distressed and um, uh, doily. This is the back, which is just uh, some more of that paper that started out one sheet of paper and I just got way carried away with it. This is the rim, which it does not look fancy, does not look, nothing looks fancy about this book. So if you're, or you're hoping you're going to get a, a fancy book from me, I just don't even watch the videos because I don't do fancy and I really had a time with this and I got it way too full but it does tie shut you have to tie it shut so every, all the information will be down below 
Um, we're into 30 minutes again. Well, my goodness, and this was a smaller book. Um, okay, here's a little thing I forgot to put back. I'll put that back. Uh, all the information will be down below. All the links. Click the links. Follow me anywhere. Um, uh, my Facebook page, um, Junk Journals uh, from Love with Grandma. I'd love to have you join me there. Uh, I write daily on my Facebook page. The link for that is below or about every other day, uh, really, most of the time. Okay, that's it. It's a wrap. I hope you all have a super duper fantastic day. Go out and make this one of the best days that you have ever had. And I love you all. Thank you.